There we go. There we go. Good afternoon. It is currently 4.30 p.m. On the way to the gym. To hit legs. Legs. AKA, the best part. What the? Why am I going so slow? Come on. So the best leg part to hit, and the one that I guarantee most people are skipping. Hopefully not then. Because, because the stronger the legs you have, the more they can support, the more upper body mass you'll get. That's not actually true, but I mean, bro sides got a little banana. Ready to, uh, I already ate one, so I'm eating my second one. So we can get a good, uh, good energy source for the leg day. You know, when you gotta consume around 400, 500 grams of carbs a day, every, every uh, every banana camps. So, I've already had two earlier today, this will be a fourth. I don't know how many grams of cars are in there, I'll probably look it up later, but... Anyways, let's get... Oh, okay. So, I watched the movie, well, rewatched the movie, um... Shoot, what was it? Prince of Egypt? Prince of Egypt with Moses. And if you know the story of Moses, you know he was uh, he was saved as a child from the execution of the uh, Egyptian emperor, the fat, the pharaoh, and. Uh, he lived as an Egyptian for most of his life. Until, you know, he uh, answered the calling of God and asked the Pharaoh to set his people free. But I'm not going to talk about, like, you know, the, the plagues and all that, what it did. Now I'm going to talk about what led up to that. When uh, Moses came from a, uh, well, he was a prince, a very high point in life, very high status. Uh, he had everything he could have wanted. He was a prince. But whenever he came to answer God's calling, he left everything behind. He abandoned all these things that he had. All these riches, the fame, the, what do you call it? The privileges, the power, he left all of that behind to allow himself to be humbled and to recognize that in order to answer God's calling and become the person that God called him to be, he would have to give up all these things for him. And uh, what I'm trying to say is how what we can see in Moses. Oh, and also, whenever God spoke to Moses, it wasn't as he came down or like as a lighted beam and spoke to him in front of everybody so they all witnessed his calling. But he spoke to him in private. 
he he separated Moses from everybody else to talk to him about his calling. And what we can see there and throughout the Bible multiple times is that in isolation or when you are alone or you feel alone, God calls you. And sometimes for that calling, God will isolate you or separate you from many things, whether it be physical, mental, or spiritually. He will, he will make you not a part of the world, essentially, so that you can answer his heavenly call, the call for his kingdom of heaven. And many times, people refuse this. They, they uh, turn away from the calling. Much like uh, Jonah. Um, and in Jonah too, you can see that he was isolated or separated for however long he was in the whale or the fish. And in moments in our lives when we ourselves feel isolated, we have to be able, or at least careful and listen carefully for the voice of God. And He may talk to each one of us in different ways in which we can hear or learn. But we have to be open to receive the calling of God. And it's in these moments where we're or where we feel separated or as if we don't belong anywhere or lost is when we can truly focus in on God when all the distractions are separate taken away from us when whenever we are alone or whenever we are we feel alone. It's when we can truly rely and open ourselves to what God has always been trying to tell us. Because, like a phone, and uh, but like, because I'm always on my phone a lot sometimes, and when you're on your phone, you're distracted and you're not looking around, you're paying attention. And much in the same way, whenever we have so much in our lives that distracts us and takes us away from God, we never really have, we never really make time to focus on Him. To set aside everything else, and sacrifice, and put Him first. And so in these moments of loneliness, moments of separation be careful and listen for the voice of God and pray no matter what for everything pray that you may hear his voice as well and that he may guide you and show you the way that you feel lost in these moments And uh, personally, I experience that a lot. It's a lot of times I will feel as if life, as if life is so foreign, to, not foreign, but as if like everything around me just doesn't feel as if, like as if I'm where I'm supposed to be. Or it doesn't feel real sometimes. And with people, I feel as if I can't relate to anything for some reason. Like, I just feel off, essentially. And uh, I feel lost. 
without a path to follow. And it's in these moments where I pray so much for the, the Lord to guide me. Where I rely solely on Him to show me the way. And of course, uh, I do have my moments where I'm just just a little stubborn, but whenever we come across these moments, you really have to you really have to focus on God in these moments. Really listen. I know I'm saying a lot of things, but this is how this is what it is. Uh, at least what I know is that whenever I feel this, whenever I'm experiencing these moments, I, I always, or not always, but I try my best to always put God first and to focus on Him and what He's trying to tell me in these moments. What lesson is He trying to get to me? And it can be a very hard thing to do sometimes because when we feel lonely, we always want something to distract ourselves with. So, all this is to say that whenever God does give us these moments, it's because He's trying to tell us something or teach us something in order to shape us into the man or woman of God that we ought to be. And of course, we won't always be perfect, but that's why it's our due diligence to always do our best and to put it first. And even then, sometimes you may not know your purpose or where you, where he's, where the Lord is trying to take you. And there may be a reason for that. It may be that your purpose hasn't come yet or that you're not ready for that purpose yet, but he's shaping you in order to be ready for that purpose. Perhaps your testimony will be an inspiration to somebody else or help somebody else in their faith. Or maybe in these moments that you're experiencing this weird cloud of loneliness, maybe that is in order to help somebody else as well. But God works in very, very mysterious ways, ways that we can't even understand. Because if we tried to understand everything God did, it would not be possible. It would be impossible for us. But it's all possible through God. And, uh, and I hope, and I pray, no, I don't hope, and I pray that that this this uh, me talking about God really does reach out to somebody really does you know inspire or help somebody strengthen their faith in the Lord and their walk with Christ and uh, there is a part of me that's doing this for myself Because I, I myself feel that this is a good way to also keep myself accountable for my actions and to grow more accountable. Yeah. And I also hope there is a part of no, I keep saying that it's like a habit, you know. But I pray as well that. Whenever, whenever I post a video or whenever I talk about God, that, that it genuinely does reach people. Because I know and I can always ex and I experience these things as well. And you know, as iron sharpens iron, 
we ought to sharpen each other in the faith and help each other. Because I am no better than anyone else. We are all equal. We are all equally sinners. And we have all sinned against God and taken for granted the sacrifice that was Jesus Christ on the cross. We also take for granted the gift of God's resurrection, of Jesus' resurrection, and salvation. So, I mean, that, that'll be it for today. Well, the, the pre talk. And uh, now we just gotta get in there and go thrash, demolish, destroy, pulverize. Literate. The freaking legs. All right. Well, I guess I'll uh, I'll see you later.